everyone i'm glad you're here thank you very much for joining me today i hope everyone's enjoying or having a safe wednesday with uh, the hurricane that's going on and the rip tides and high winds and power outages there in florida and on the east coast there was a 5.1 earthquake today um, along the aleutian islands this is the simony off uh, seismic zone of the Aleutian Islands seismic zone. Let me bring this out. This is a real interesting area. They are saying that this earthquake and the ones that we had in July, um, the 7.4 that was revised to a 7.2, the 5.7 are all aftershocks from an earthquake that they had in 2020 which actually was a thrust earthquake that ruptured the um, fault zone through here after the 7.8 uh, there was a 7.6 and then in 2021 i often say that um, any earthquake has a chance of being a foreshock for something much larger there was actually an 8.2 what's interesting about this earthquake zone is in 1912 they had a series of magnitude 7 earthquakes which actually caused the eruption the creation of the volcano of nova rupta now this was probably according to the national park service and usgs was the la largest eruption that actually happened in the 20th century it was 30 times larger than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. It had um, an intensity level or a volcanic explosivity of six. It was actually larger than the eruptions of uh, Mount Pinatoba. And the 1902 eruption of Santa Maria in Guatemala. This is an area where we have the Pacific Plate subducting underneath the uh, North American plate. But for some reason, this area has the largest and most dangerous earthquakes, often with tsunamis. Now, the one in 2021, I believe, the 8.2, um, there was a tsunami. It was about five feet high. I'm going to have to look up those magnitude 7 earthquakes prior to the creation of this volcano because with all these recent earthquakes in this area let me show you an image where all these earthquakes occur let me make this bigger for you and bring this can i bring this yeah okay let me bring it over and can i bring it up higher i don't think so there we go okay yeah it makes me wonder if there's going to be um, a volcano created sometime in the future somewhere between King Cove and Sand Point. You can see all these earthquakes. Here you can see the July 16th uh, of this year, the 7.2. Um, the January, I can't read that very well, of 2020, the 7.6. Um, July 22nd of 2020, a 7.8. And July 29th of 2021, an 8.2. And they got different little dots down here. 7.8 aftershock, a 6, or 7.6 aftershock, an 8.2 aftershock. Can you believe that? Those are all aftershocks um, from the July 20th um yeah 7.8 earthquake that's just amazing when this fault ruptured i don't know how far of an area that it ruptured that's something else i'm gonna have to look into and um take notes on uh but yeah this is really interesting yeah something to be be aware of something to prepare for definitely in the time of birth pains aren't we 
So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, keep your house in order. Get your house in order and be prepared. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.